of our friend John Arns and uh, there are many phases to the <coughs> evening this is just the first or for some of us it may be the second <laughs> um, but we thought we would begin by uh, dedicating this bench to, to John with a with a toast and I think that no better toast than from our friend John Muir in every walk with nature one receives far more than he seeks, and for everybody who took a walk with John Irons, that is for sure what they experienced as well. And so, John, for all of us who received so much more from a walk with you than we ever imagined possible, here's to you. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Now, how in the world do you think about a bench for John? It can't be a, a normal, ordinary bench. You know you're not ordinary, right? <laughs> no ordinary man. <laughs> but before we started, uh, uh, we were we were standing here trying to figure out where are we going to put the bench because you know it could go there, it could go there. And uh, Ray Smith was walking around, <clears throat> and uh, he found this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> well, I have a uh, heart collection, so I naturally saw this. And I said, it's decided. And they said, what? And I said, where the bench is going? I said, where? I said, right there where the rock is. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but then I got to give up my rock because this is now your no, worry no, stone. No, no, you can have it now. No, this no, is no, it's a worry stone. <laughs> this is your worry stone. It goes up here someplace. And have no come worries. Out. <laughs> <laughs> it'll look better as years go by. It'll look better as you, just like you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've seen pictures. <laughs> Whatever. 
You and I wore the wrong shoes for this kind of deal. Yeah, we did. Yeah, did. We, we were just saying, we know a shortcut. <laughs> but I guess we shouldn't do that. So. How's retirement? You liking it? We love it. Well, let's see. We're we're. Uh, this is all about about John Orange, is it not? Yeah. Yes. Except. Uh, I'm not sure that Brenda got the recognition she deserved. Brenda, where? where, where, where behind every successful man is a taller woman. But I think when you all agree that nothing like this happens without. I mean, a lot of support, and so just want to recognize the whole family for uh, making this happen. Here, here, here. So. These trees, these are the gifts of John's many friends, and that money is still coming in, John. Uh, you are the most beloved guy I know, and so it's just really wonderful. I just somehow <coughs> want you to know that your friends have contributed the money for this. The money has continued to come in, so the 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 uh, planting will be an ongoing process. And uh, I, if, if I re recollect, the Eve necklace is your favorite. Uh, One of my favorites, yeah. Yeah. Why is that your favorite? Well, it's sort of a scare tree. Scare answer. I like that. Isn't it? Isn't it poison though? No, it's the mountain wall, the big trunk bean. Ah, ah. I, I know that from experience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I know you like the Mexican pump because it smells like tortilla and you're yeah. food oriented. <laughs> <laughs> and if you put John in ice cream, you're a red bud. He's always taking the flowers and sprinkling. I mean, you love that, that mixture of red bud and ice cream. I've seen you do that. Um, anyway, I just want to make sure we honor John's many friends that have made this happen and the kind of ongoing process of that as the money money comes in. It's a beautiful thing to see <laughs> how many people do love you, John. Tens of thousands of children have been touched by John Arms, mm -hmm. um, and he's been their true north. And then, of course, the preservation of this place and the addition of this magnificent piece of property um, to just further preserve it. Anyway, this grove is uh, added to the bench to thank you, uh, John, and um, there are no... <laughs> No words that uh, your old buddy here, your old walking buddy, can possibly say to thank you, but I, th I hope you feel that the bench and the trees and your friends being here is I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're, we're we're trying to trying to convey just how very dear you've been to us. You've listened and you've talked and you've inquired of every everyone who's come on this land that has knowledge, and and uh, you've got a storehouse in your head there about all of this. And I was I was wishing you were with us today because somebody asked me, what is this? What is that? And I said, John would know. <laughs> yeah, he would. I asked John the question once about, uh, you were talking about the just dreadful condition this place was in. And if you go down to the waterfall today, you'll see the magnificent uh, maiden hair ferns that mm -hmm. are going there now. Mm -hmm. And I think I, uh, ignorant me once said to John, wow, you know, astonishing how they've come back from the dead to about normal and and John quickly corrected me and says you know Lee it's about it'll take about a hundred years for it to get uh, fully back mm -hmm. to where uh, it should be and there's something about that that's just lovely if you think about a, you know a hundred year project with the maiden hair fern kind of being our index of where we are on the united fund barometer of, of, of bringing the pl uh, place back to its original spot so John, thank you, and let's uh, thank you. Give this good man a big, big round of applause.